Thus far, we've used molecular formulas to show the relative amounts of each element inside of a molecule. Another way that this can be expressed is in percent composition. Percent composition says that of the molecule's total molar mass, how much of that molar mass is due to a particular element. The calculation looks like this, where we will take the total molar mass of the element inside of the molecule, and then divide by the molecule's molar mass, and multiply by 100. Here I asked to find the percent composition of nitrogen and hydrogen in NH3. The first thing we want to start with is finding the molar mass of NH3. So I go to the periodic table, I take the atomic weight of nitrogen, and three times the atomic weight of hydrogen, and we get that the molar mass of NH3 is 17.03 grams per mole. I then realized that the percent nitrogen inside of NH3 is going to be equal to the total molar mass of nitrogen inside of NH3 divided by the molar mass of NH3 times 100. When I look at NH3, I realize that there's only one nitrogen inside of there. So I'm going to need the atomic weight of nitrogen, which is 14.01 grams per mole. I take that and divide by the molar mass of NH3, which we've already decided is 17.03 grams per mole. I do the division and multiply by 100, and I get 82.27%. This says that 82.27% of this molar mass, 17.03, is due to nitrogen. I then do a similar calculation for the percent hydrogen inside of NH3. Once again, we're going to need the total mass of hydrogen inside of NH3 and divide by the molar mass of NH3. Take that and multiply by 100. But here we have three hydrogens inside of NH3. So I don't need just the individual atomic weight of hydrogen. I need three times that because we want the total mass of hydrogen inside of NH3. So that's going to be three times the atomic weight of hydrogen. Then I take that and divide by the molar mass of NH3 and multiply by 100. And what we get is that the percent hydrogen inside of NH3 is 17.76%. And that tells me of this molar mass of NH3, 17.76% of this molar mass is due to hydrogen. So it is a very common mistake to forget to multiply by 3 in this case. It's very common to just put the atomic weight of whatever element we're dealing with. But we have to remember that we need to include the total number of each element inside of the molecular formula here. So because there was three hydrogens inside of NH3, I needed to multiply my atomic weight of hydrogen by three to give me the total mass of hydrogen inside of NH3. So lastly, when you add up all the percent weights of whatever you're looking at, they should always equal 100%. So if I have more than two elements, if I add up the percent weight of all the elements, they should equal 100%. So here, you can see we came pretty close to it. If we take the percent nitrogen and add it to the percent hydrogen, we get pretty close to 100%. So usually it doesn't come up to be exactly 100% because there will be some slight differences due to rounding error, but it should be very, very close.